New at 10, dangerous driving. The most treacherous stretch of highway in the state is right here in the valley. The three mile stretch near where I-10, Loop 202, and State Route 51 come together saw the most crashes in 2020. Team 12's Michael Doudna shows us why this spot is so prone to crashes and if anything can be done about it. In this three mile stretch, Honestly, I try to avoid it as much as I can. Where the I-10, the 202, and 51 merge and diverge, crashes can be commonplace. Almost every day you go and there's a, there's a siren on or something. ADOT data shows that this three-mile stretch accounted for more than 1,000 crashes in 2020, but experts aren't surprised that this junction is a hot spot. Whenever you have three major arteries coming together, um, it's a very complex situation. Ram Pendiala is a professor specializing in transportation engineering at ASU. He says junctions like these are known as stacks. Multiple freeways coming together layered on top of one another. Their goal is to quickly distribute people to the valley's major highways. But the more roads and ramps, the more potential issues. But the moment you add a third or a fourth, I mean, the number of ramp connections really increases exponentially, and uh, you're going to have more conflict points as people weave and, and weave in and out. So we know there's thousands of cars trying to get on one of these three roads, and that can lead to accidents. So why do it this way? Uh, absolutely a good question. Um, you know, sometimes in, in major metropolitan areas, you can't avoid it. Pendiala says it comes down to money and space. See, it's cheaper to build one major junction instead of multiple interchanges, and it doesn't have to be as spread out. But the way the valley has grown and the region has grown, it's been probably far greater than what the original projections, uh, you know, were. Pendiala says more study is needed to know what exactly can help prevent these crashes. It could be something easy as changing a sign or speed limit, or it could be something more like a redesign of an interchange. And I think it's worth looking into and doing some really a deeper dive into the data to understand what types of crashes are these. Michael Doudna, 12 News.